Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019's Topps Stadium Club Baseball 8-box half case random team number 4. This is the second half of the case um, that we popped open yesterday as you can see right here. We marked all of those 4 right there, right there so you all know this comes from a uh, from the same case. A very big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into it. And remember, the Diamondbacks are out. If we pull any, uh, if there happens to be like a Diamondback, like box topper or like a, a, I don't think they have any hits, but like a serial numbered card or something like that, we'll uh, we'll randomize it to one person in the break. A different dice roll at the end of the break. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list five and a four nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Roy all the way down to a couple marks. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. After nine times, we got the Tampa Bay Rays down to the Minnesota Twins. Trades are allowed. At your own risk, of course, as always. All right, so here we go. Roy, you have the Tampa Bay Rays. Andy with the Pirates. Last spot, Mojo. Rick with the Reds. Mark with the Royals. Levi with the Blue Jays. Mark with the Red Sox. Chris, you got the Marlins. Mark Matson with the Angels, Yankees, Rangers, Phillies. Stephen Olson, you have the Brew Crew. Levi with the Rockies. Mark with the A's. Levi with the White Sox and Astros. Stephen Olson with the Nats. Jeremy with the Mets. Chris Fries with the O's. TJ, you have the Detroit Tigers. Paul with the Cardinals. Mark with the Padres. Addison, you got the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. Levi with the Cubs. Alfred, you got the Tribe. Karen with the Mariners. Sanford with the Braves. And Mark, you got my Dodgers. And you got the Twins. Let's alphabetize by team. Chris Free saying, anyone who wants the uh, Miami or Baltimore? We'll give it a few moments for people to maybe consider a trade. Karen's here. Mariners for the O's. You'll take Mariners? Yeah, I don't, I don't think Mark's going to trade San Diego anytime soon. Karen, is that good? Confirm? Confirmed. Okay, she says thanks. All right, so Chris is out of the O's spot. Karen is out of the Mariners spot. Karen now has the Orioles. We'll put a T next to there for trade. We'll see who uh, draws first blood in that trade. And Mariners is for uh, for Chris. All right. Maybe I think that's going to be it. Let's close up the trade window. Trade window widow. Trade window closed. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go on a Saturday. Stadium Club. There's the official printout. Good luck, everybody. All right.
Giolito just fell off the wagon against the Cubs. Come on, Giolito. I'm on the White Sox tonight. Dang, what's, this, what's the score in that one, Robert? I've got a scoreboard up here. Oh, come on. Cubs are up 5-1. I've got the Angels-Astros game here. I need the Angels. They're down a couple runs. Who else do I need tonight? See, that might make that's going to make me regret taking the the Cardinals and the Mariners tonight. Mark Matheson thinks, ooh, big one of one. He's got a feeling, a hunch, gut feeling. And Kyle, Kyle Schwarber strikes strikes again. That's good. He's on my fantasy team, so I hope I started him. Well, the game's in progress right now. Philly's up 4-2 in the third. Red Sox are up 5-0 on the Tigers. Cubs are up 5-1 on the White Sox. Astros up 2-0 in the sixth. The Angels are threatening here. And then the Pirates are leading 7-2 on the Brew Crew. All right, good luck, everybody. So we'll kind of breeze by these. And obviously we'll stop on something like this, Luke Voigt. That's for the Yankees. That's for Mark Matheson. Right, so we'll set that aside right here. So, of course, all, all of these red foils will ship. Rookies will all ship. It's just veteran commons that won't. But all the veteran variations, of course, will all go. Those inserts like this will go. This Gary Sanchez, number to 99, will definitely go. We also, uh, we, we've been, so our, our heads have been in move mode. We don't have, we've run out of regular top loaders. So I'm gonna, just gonna soft sleeve those uh, autographs and we'll make sure they get top loaded obviously before they're sorted and shipped. Oh, that's cool. Emperors of the Zone. That's an on-card autograph, Andy Pettit. That's pretty cool. Another Yankee for Mark. We haven't seen an insert auto yet. Six out of ten. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we've seen any of those insert autos as of yet, so that's a first. All right. We've got, looks like a national, it looks like. It's a Max Scherzer. Nice one for Steven Olsen and the Nationals. All right, next box. Oh, was the Vlad an insert auto? I don't, I don't remember that one. I remember a Vlad. I don't remember it being an insert auto. All right. All right, so our second insert auto. What was the insert? Do you remember? I remember pulling the Guerrero. Oh, come on. Solo home run by the Astros. I thought my day started off well. I've got financial interest in a number of teams here. I've got the... had financial interest in the Rangers. That was a bigger play for me. 
they didn't quite get there. I think they gave up some some runs late in the game. They couldn't quite get back. It's on the Orioles today. They won. On the, on Miami, they won. On the Yankees, they tied it up in the top of the ninth. And then they they were walked off by the Rays in the bottom of the ninth. So got Cleveland. I'm on uh on the Angels tonight. They're down by three. It's the bottom of the six, so they're running out of time. On the White Sox, I think that's still a little early-ish in the game, so still have time there. And then I'm on St. Louis, slight road dogs, and the Mariners, slightly heavier home dogs at plus 127. Those games have not started yet. Oh, the okay, I remember now. The beam team out of 15 for the Glad Guerrero. Next box. And our autograph. It's Adalis Garcia, rookie auto. That's for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Paul Hutchins. No, I thought that was an orange parallel, but... It's not, it's just a regular insert. It's a cool shot, Trevor Richards. And we got Kevin Kramer. Nice rookie auto for the Buckos. Andy Owens, last spot mojo Pirates. There you go. It's from Turlock. Right here in California. Up north. I love this shot right here. Isn't that cool? See what's here. Looks like a Met. Looks like a Cindergard. We pulled an autograph box topper last night. Let's see if we can pull another one in the same case. That'd be cool. What up, Rex? Did you guys see the story of the 1967 Venezuela mantle? Went from a PSA 2 to a PSA 6. Sold both times by T PWCC. Is now, is now owned by a congressman. Hopefully that congressman did not use taxpayer money for that. That would be a scandal. How much is it... How much did it go for
Wait, is that? Oh, you think you think there's some? Uh... Yeah, how did it go from a two to a six? You think there's some shading is happening, Alex? They said value went from who's they? Said the value went from five to four thousand. Wow. And we got Ryan Baruki. That is for the Blue Jays. Levi with the Blue Jays. Rizzo, beam team. Oh, um, those guys. And there's Williams Astudio, rookie autograph for the Twins, Mark Matheson, you Twins. It's a cool variation there for Miguel Andujar. I don't even know. Um, I don't even know why someone would risk. You know, I don't know why someone would risk trimming that, like trimming cards, and why a grading service would risk even grading it. You know what I mean? Because, like, the, you know, the consequences of being caught, and most likely you are going to get caught, is just so much greater than what the benefit would be, the short term benefit would be. Nice Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers. It's Mark Matheson. Well, Dodger Joe Mojo there. Yeah, but I mean, even if even if PSA gets gets paid on their table, for example, I mean, allegedly, you know, like, I mean, why why would they risk why would they risk even doing that? 
people are gonna know. They're gonna be like, hey, how did that, <laughs> how did that go from a two to a six? You know, that just, that just seems, that just seems reckless. Even from a scamming perspective, it just seems like, oh, you're really overdoing it. Hoping that no one, I mean, everyone would notice. Especially nowadays when there's so much, so many more eyeballs on the, uh, on the hobby as well. Everyone's interested in it. Everyone's getting back into it. There's Framber Valdez. Nice one. Astros, rookie auto for Levi. Last night, Kike Hernandez was up to bat when the earthquake happened, and he was just like, "Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I think none of the players on the field felt it, which was interesting." But people inside the stadium and the clubhouse, they all felt it. People in the top decks felt it. People in the stadium felt it in their seats. Right, so stuff is slipping through. Rich is saying just because there's not enough grading out there and the demand for grades is so high. Another Astro, Kyle Tucker. So yeah, then why would then Hudy make brings up a good point? Why would PSA be c accused of anything? You know, they might not even have known that there was that it was a same card, but but trimmed and they just kind of breeze through it. You know what I mean? That could be that could be a thing too. I mean that really comes down to who knew who knew who knew what you know what I mean I mean I don't know if anybody has any answers on that Ooh, nice. Hank Aaron. For the Braves. That one will go to Sanford. Alright, so maybe I mean maybe maybe it's it's unfair to I mean, who's doing who's a who's accusing? I don't know if the grading service should be accused, right? They they may have not just known. They may have just been flying through grading zillions of cards. It sounds it sounds like I agree with Jay. It sounds like if anybody knew, it would have to be like PWCC, right? But Rex, the, the 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 source that you're talking about, 
that that broke this news, I don't really, I would take whatever those guys say with a really big grain of salt. I think a lot of it is just intentional clickbait, which they've, we had, to, we had some run-ins with them and a lot of it's a l intentional clickbait or just trying to stir up issues unnecessarily just in an attempt to get clicks or whatever they, they do. So I would take whatever they say with a grain of salt. There's Cedric Mullins, Orioles, drawing first blood in the trade. Karen with the O's. Nice Cedric Mullins, rookie auto. Johnny, what's going on? Rich, when you were looking at like grading jobs at Beckett in Texas in Dallas, um, how does that process work? You think like uh, you you think that like what's what's like the training process? Yeah, Dennis. Yeah, they 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 were the ones like just stirring the pot and trying to be like. Hey, these autos could be fake. They could be, you know, <laughs> like they're just, just kind of fear mongering and doing all sorts of stuff. I don't know. I don't. I don't like the way they 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 present themselves. It could be could be great too, but. There's Jake Cave twins, Mark Matheson. So they send you to a school, eight months to a year? It's crazy. Yeah, Dennis, I agree. You know, and they'll, they'll intentionally like tag people on Twitter. They've done it to us, you know, just to try to stir the pot, get people to react to them. And then, you know, they think they're so cool and stuff. But, but really they're just, they're taking very, you know, thin rumors and then spinning them into something bigger than it's, than it is or that can't be proven you know what i mean 77 out of 99 you know they'll just make up stuff <laughs> but like stuff that you can't necessarily say that you can't prove but it's not like you can prove it either so i don't like that style of of i guess so called journalism And they'll just be under the guise. We're just asking questions. But when when those questions do get answered, are they re, are they reporting the answers? No, they're not. So, I would take whatever they say with a with a big grain of salt. Paul Hutchins with the Cardinals. Right, and we're exactly rich. I saw that. I saw you say that earlier too. We're we're really only talking about, you know, one percent of like total graded cards. It's not like, you know, PSA and Beckett are not doing this intentionally to make a five hundred dollar card a five thousand dollar card. It's not. It's not worth it. Tyler Biddle, what's going on? First time breaking with Jaspies. Welcome. Buddy of mine. Oh, Alfred has got some nice pulls from us. So, hey, good luck, man. Thanks, Alfred, for spreading the word about Jaspies. I did not see that, Rex. There's a woman who licked a blue bunny ice. What's a blue bunny ice? What's blue bunny ice cream? An ice cream brand? Would she lick the inside of it and then put it back on the shelf? Should be caught and facing 20 years for prison. Good. She should. 
What if she has the measles? Addison, you wouldn't trust sending a card in the mail? You'd be terrified it would get lost? Guess what? We, we send out thousands of packages through the good old U.S. Postal Service. We rarely have issues. We've sent Luka Doncic RPAs through the good old USPS. No issues. Rarely have we had an issue that where a thing just gets straight up lost. Maybe delayed? Sure, sometimes. But for the most part, considering that they're moving millions of units a year, they do a pretty solid job. And we're sending out thousands of things a week. We do okay. Yeah, Rich, is, Rich, Rich has been with us for years. He said he's never had a lost card. There's Chance Adams. Like, there's always a chance that could happen, I guess, but... That's Mark Masson with the uh, Yankees. I don't think the punishment is... is a bit, well, I mean, I don't think she's actually going to get 20 years. I think that's the max penalty, but but it's it's a it's definitely a. So you want you want no chance that someone's going to think. I mean, what what do you think the punishment should be? You know, if it's like a slap on the wrist, then everyone's going to be like, oh, okay, I, I can do I can do creepy things with with food. You know what I mean? Then there's health and safety issues, and you know that. No, I think I think that's what the the threat of the punishment should should be that excessive. Wait, Hugh, you've gotten, you've gotten a package that was run over. And we've got Adam Simber. I think it's Simber. Simba. Simba. That's for the tribe Indians. Alfred with the Indians. Johnny says never a problem. Yeah, we rarely have problems. Yeah, watch out. Logan, Logan's got the inside scoop, Hootie. You may never see a package again if you don't want <laughs> Careful. <laughs> yeah, Hudy's like, I forgot. Yeah. He's a, he, he's a proud member of the United States Pulse Service. Easy, Hudy. He could put in the call. He'll never get mail again. All right. Next box. So we only have two boxes left. Time is flying by. We're breezing through this break. Ooh, Mike Trout. Nice. Mike Trout is in the field right now. That goes to Mark Madsen and the Angels. Nice. Two boxes left. Uh oh. He's he's a retired MP, so he has he might have connections too. Ooh, Richard Johansson was saying earlier. I, I missed that comment. He was like, I had another company I went with had a Baker Mayfield Panini one auto get lost somewhere. Eesh.
Astros keep scoring runs. There are some uh, games that are are done, boys and girls. We got the Twins beat the Rangers seven to four. Orioles beat the uh, in the Battle of the Birds. Orioles beat the Blue Jays eight to one. National shut out the Royals six to nothing. Indians beat the Reds seven to two. The uh, Tampa Bay Rays walked off the Yankees in the bottom of the ninth four to three on a. Travis Diarno, I think, hit the hit the walk off, and the and the Marlins edged out the Braves five to four. It was out of 49, Richard says. You look for that card on eBay all the time. Well, it, it, how was it shipped? It just got lost? Just disappeared? There's Kevin Newman. So you got Kevin Kramer, Andy Owens. Now you have Kevin Newman. A couple Pirates. Post office said they, they dropped it off. Yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like, Grego. Grego, I think, is right. Maybe some neighbors snagged it or something like that. Ooh, Mark Masson saying gold standard pick your teams are up, ladies and gentlemen. So... Get your pre-orders going. That drops next Wednesday. This is the calm before the storm, boys and girls. The rest of July, I feel like every week is jam-packed with at least two or three new releases. Wow, David Justice. Sanford with the Braves. That's pretty cool. Black Foil as well, 24 out of 25. Very cool. Nice shot, Ozzy Smith, right there. That's cool. Still has it. Wow, Grego, you had three hundred dollars of Dewalt tools delivered to your next door neighbor. It was accidentally delivered, and then they pretended like they didn't have it. Come on, people! I saw the box hopper of the shot. <laughs> Are you serious? Rex said he got a CNN notification saying that NASA accidentally sold moon landing footage to an intern, and now he's selling it for the starting bid of $700,000. How did you accidentally sell it to an intern? Who, who authorized that? There's Matt Carpenter for the Redbirds. That goes to Paul. <laughs> hey, anyone want this old tape? Nah, you can have it. Hey, I'll give you 20 bucks for this old tape. It's old film reel. It's nothing, right? No. No, go for it. Go for it, kid. Knock yourself out. Just leave 
20 bucks in the in the petty cash petty cash drawer all right sweet thanks that's 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 what I want to know how does that happen Nisa is saying they sold the footage for 218 bucks. <laughs> Why was it even for sale? Was it did they have the, like a did NAS have a yard sale? Uh yes, there are Steve Olson. Right, the men in black will get him, Logan's ring. Oh, wait, why was he even for sale? I, I want to know, does Nisa, do you have any more information on that? Did they have, did they have a, a NASA yard sale? I would have gone to the NASA yard sale. NASA, NASA estate sale? Uh, what's close to breaking? Asks RTO. Um, a lot of stuff. Head over to jazbeescasebreaks.com and take a look. I think we got more of those uh, Jaspies Fanatics jersey breaks. That should be kind of close. And the Panini, yeah, the Panini 1 spot randoms are close, and that'll unlock Panini 1 number 35. Which should be pretty cool. Um, there, I think there's a couple of them. There are two different prices. If you check the website, all, all your answers will be revealed. Ooh, and a redemption. What, who are the redemptions? All right, almost done, folks. Thanks, everybody. This break is at the 45-minute mark. So we made some pretty good time on this. Thanks for watching, everyone. We've got some Insta vision right here. Manny Machado goes to the Padres. Mark Matheson. We do have these top loader sizes right here. Um, Hudi, forgot to ask. Yeah, everything was, I was nervous about, I've got guitars that are hanging on the wall. And I was like, that was enough swaying to me. It probably, probably it made the, uh, the, uh, guitar sway, which would have made me nervous if I was, uh, if I was actually at home. But no, everything seemed fine. No, no books upended. Guitars are all fine. There's Ben Intendi for the Red Sox. That'll go to Mark Matson. So yeah, thanks for asking. Everything's cool. Richard Johansson is a lot closer to the earthquake. I'm sure he had some things maybe tumble over. All right, no tigers as of yet, TJ. Maybe this maybe this guy behind Raphael Devers could be a tiger. Congrats, you are due to receive base card autograph of. S. Shohei Otani. 
No. Scooter Jeanette? Scooter Jeanette. Got it. And that will go to um, Rick K, who has the Reds. Cincinnati Reds with that one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was random team number four of 2019 Tops Stadium Club Baseball. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.